I think that we should talk about that kiss. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. It's kind of like not in my nature to talk about my feelings. How would you know? <laughs> That's a fair point, right? I just want to say that the, that kiss it didn't come out of nowhere. No, it didn't. So what is this about? Uh, well, I am... Um, I know what's going on between you and Willow. <laughs> what are you talking about? Willow and I are, we got our marriage and all that's... No, you can, you can save your breath, Michael. I mean, I happened to be walking down this way last night, and um, I, I caught a glimpse of you and Willow th uh, through the window in an intimate moment. And of course, I, I immediately left. <laughs> J Jax, Jax, please, you, you have to promise me you're not going to say a word about this to anyone. Chase can't find out about me and Willow. Willow and I got our marriage annulled, but we couldn't exactly uh, annul our feelings for each other. Mm. We wanted to move forward together as a family, you know? I mean, it, and Sasha and I, we already split up, and, and, and Willow was on our way to tell Chase the night that he fell ill. I see. Yeah, and, and Willow and I, we agreed to wait to be together until Chase had recovered, and, and, and we, we tried to keep our distance, and then last night our, you know, yeah, our feelings got... Yeah, you know, the whole thing just sounds pretty really complicated. Yeah, well, it would have been a lot more complicated if anyone else would have seen us last night. But you're not going to say anything, right? Jax? Oh, you know what? Now, now would be a really good time to, to continue our conversation about, uh, about Nina. I'm sure you've noticed how Phyllis is pushing us together. Yeah, she just wants us to be as happy as she is. <laughs> I make you happy? You've been a good friend. No, I'm the, that's not, listen, I, that's a coward way of telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. well, what's the truth? I care a lot about you. More than, than just a friend. Last night, I stopped by the main house to see you to continue our conversation about, you know, allowing Nina some contact with Wiley, and you never got back to me. Yeah, I've been a little busy. Yeah, I, I realize that. But, but I think it's time to stop putting off the conversation, Michael. Look, Nina just wants to be a part of her grandson's life, and I think deep down you know that would be beneficial for Wiley. Now, I, I understand that Nina has crossed the line and she's made some mistakes with your family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she told Wiley that Willow wasn't his mother. She does regret saying that. Look, now that Nina has come to terms with uh, Nell's death, there must be some way to reach a reasonable compromise. Really? Yes. Since when did blackmail become a reasonable compromise? The more I've gotten to know you, the more that I'm drawn to you. Now, I'm hoping you feel the same way, unless I got the wrong idea. No, you didn't. 